what's up everybody today i'm bringing you a perf razor deck profile perf razor is a tier 2 deck right now that basically can still do damage it is basically a constant crit a consistent crit deck because of the fact that perf razor once you have three per, uh, razor cards in the soul or not sorry four razor cards in the soul it gets a crit and plus 3000 every time like every for every razor card in the soul like it's pretty damn unstoppable not unstoppable but numbers will hit high numbers you know also constantly do to damage every time on your turn on your turn when you're attacking so here's my build i'm going to show you why i do this build and uh, like what cards i use because it's a way to utilize perfect razor to the best of its ability so for every perfect razor deck you always have to start with battle razor as your starting vanguard battle razor is a forerunner and at the end of the turn that it boosts a card, you can draw a card, put it back in your deck, it's stamped. So this is good for like late game when you want to restand your vanguard and or not restand your rear guards to add that pressure to your opponent's vanguards. Usually this is a late game advantage. You want to put as many as you can because some fun thing about Perfect Razor, when you ride him, you can counterblast two and add a battle razor to your hand. And Usually, usually in real life, it'd be an understand trigger in your deck, but in a game, it just magically appears, and you can call them and then put them back in your deck, shuffle, stand. Um, so that's a good starting record. So green ones, I utilize four twin bladers. No perfect guard. You gotta utilize them to the full ability, and they're gonna be basically what saves you most turns if you're going against like MLB or even shadows. Then I run four burst razors. Burst razors, only reason I'm running them is four of them is because they're a razor. You want more razors on the field, as many razors as possible on the field. One clay doll mechanic. When it's placed, counter charge one. Good way to flip over damage, flip over damage, because this deck isn't very uh, counter blast heavy. Um, only about three cards, two cards use counter blast in this deck, so good to have it. And then for Razor Custom, when it, on your turn, if this is behind, if it boosted, no, sorry, if Battle Race is behind it, not even boosted, just behind it, it gains plus 6,000, so it's 12,000. Um, attacker and Rear Guard or Vanguard, tool, which is good to have, in my opinion. Hits numbers. Hits numbers pretty dang easily. So then next we have two Brutal Jacks. Um, this is a restraint card. But it's a good 11k to have on a rear guard because then your opponent has to usually boost to hit the numbers. And so you kind of ask one to lose the restraint. When it's boosted on a vanguard circle, it gets 5,000 power. That's a 16 plus however much you have for rear guard already. And that's pretty good numbers on that. Magician Girl Kirara. When this attack hits, it has to hit rear guard or vanguard. You can counter blast two and draw a card. And this is good to get hand advantage because you might need it to get like your razor on the field or just to have like perfect guards or to get a boost or whatever. All right, two trans razors. Sorry, not two. Four trans razors. When this is placed, reveal a top card and call it if it's a grade two or less. And this is really good for getting feeling the field as fast as possible. I believe there's another card that does that exact skill. I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> Can't remember off the top of my head, but who did? Oh yeah, Barbacar. He did that kind of, basically. But um, it could be any card. It could be a three or one or two or zero, whatever. It could be any card and call it. And so, this does the same idea, but it has to be two or less. Um, just makes it. Um, it's a seven K, so it's basically used for a either to fod in to to put into for a um, perfect razor or just to sit there to keep you from dying right away i run two king of sword king of sword is just a 10k beat stake just to have on the field in case of anything to occur like you need rear guard have rear guard you can take out rear guards easily most rear guards are 9k or less there's those occasional 12ks which are pesky but that's only in blouse and ningman i believe if i off to off to top of my head and then even shadow paladins and then I have four high powered razor custom, which is upgrade version of razor custom, grade one. Um, 
Same thing as uh, Razor Custom when it is boosted, or always when Battle Razor is behind it, it gets plus 8 that. Now, grade 3 is I run 1 Cosmo Lord. Uh, Cosmo Lord is used for the late, late game push. Uh, every time the rest of your guard, it gets plus 3000. And to late game push, usually what you, most people combo that people use with this is that they call uh, Cosmo Lord to the rear guard, call a bunch of razors to other rear guard, rest the razors, and then put them in for a perfect razor to gain a skill. They get a crit. And that's when you push for numbers. And then for Muscle Hercules, Muscle Hercules is when it's placed, counter charge one. Again, another way to counter charge when you need it. My heal trigger too, so a good way to get some numbers. Uh, get some counter, um, counter blast in if you heal. Um, but, uh, like, but then it's also useful if you don't get a heal. You can draw it or something. We're in four perfect razors. So this gets 3,000 for each razor in the soul. And you have four more and gets a crit. And when it's placed, you can counter blast two to add a battle razor to your hand. And at no cost, you can put all the razors on your field into your soul. So it's not you have to ride consistent amount, different amount of razors. You can actually just throw them all into your soul. Which is really good. It's a way to get that extra crit pretty easily. Then run four beast deities Azure Dragon. So this is a Persona Blast. When this unit attacks, hit Persona Blast. So discard a copy of itself to stand two of the, your rear guards. Usually it's going to be one column or two, like nine Ks, but uh, two rear guards. But I usually try to stand a whole column. Um, but this deck, for me personally, is done really well. It hit, um, I think I hit Legend 2 20 with it. And it, it's consistent, even with the trigger lined up. Like it's not five draws, four crits. Um, the crits just add extra pressure. I mean, the draws is there for get your Azure Dragon, but you don't really need them. It's the main focus is Razor. Azure Dragon is just that back of grade. Grade 3 ride, if anything, if you don't have razors, and then you can just pop off with your guards to attack the whole, the whole time. But overall, it's really good. Um, I like the deck and I enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. Alright, you guys, thank you guys for so much stopping by. I have Pack Doming up in the card above to my right. If you guys are interested in seeing all my polls from set 4, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.